Japanese crown Paralympic champion in the men's F8 just one day ago on the right hand side. Darius Pender of Poland. Best he managed yesterday in the F8 was the quarter final finish. Finishing eighth. Even though he came into this as the Paralympic champion from 2012. But this is all about foil. Second chance for a medal for Sung Gang at these Paralympic Games. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a great opportunity to listen to our commentators on the FA radio we have at the venue. Well, the Polish athletes on the, man on the right of your screens. Use your headphones in order not to disturb other spectators. You can also and ask our radio at the entrance of the twice. venue. Don't forget to use the hashtag Olympic medal in the foil. 2016. Thank you. Well, he can regain his form here in the year 2016. Last won a bronze medal eight years ago. Bronze medal before that in 2004. So very experienced indeed. Up against the 23 year old Sun Gang. Just measuring up now, and see how. Just the crease of the jacket there. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to be quiet during the bout. That will help three minutes. to concentrate. You can see the Senhoras clock set for three minutes there. We haven't seen one go three minutes yet. Very, very quick. First athlete to reach 15. Will be declared bronze medalist in the men's category A foil competition. All the equipment tested, ready to go. Referees, and please start the bounce. Crowd each other and the referees. And now we are called into the on guard position. takes the early lead for Poland. Just up target that time. So this time to Sung. One all. Well, you're really going to see movement on the piece. And you can already see that they've moved over here. They might be have to readjust straight away. So absolute force there of Sun coming forwards. And of course, Pender on the defense there, leaning back. So the momentum takes them forwards or takes them off to the side, should I say. Centered. So with a very slight lead at the early stage of this bronze medal match. First to 15. A long way to go to decide the winner. So just pulling the wire through there. Sun just poking out of his sleeve. Reacting positively, keeping the score so even. The coach's reaction tells you a lot. Polish coach just sat there quietly as he saw Sun victorious with that hit. Movement too soon, possibly. Referee just bringing them back on guard. No hit scored off the target. Contact must be on the foil jacket or the foil bib part of the mask. 
his son just caught on his fencing wrist on his left hand and there's that flick well that's basically everything that you can see well colored there isn't it certainly is So far, it seems to be one apiece. Neither athlete getting more than a one hit advantage. And it goes to the left. It's from uh, China. Yeah, really competitive. <laughs> the referee just spotted. The connection coming undone, and if that connection is off, the foil jacket's not live, and it won't be registered. Ah, here we go, keeping it one apiece. Enter opponent. Sun, People's Republic of China. Haven't seen more than a one-hit lead by either athlete. First third, third of the way through. First to 15. Well, the theme seems to be continuing. No more advantage opened up. No points staying so equal here. Well, the difference to the EPE, of course, that where we're having, where they were having double hits, where they're registered for both. Uh, in this case here, the referee has to decide which way um, actually initiated the move and then awarding the point. Well, quite a challenge. The referee has got to be on his point here because so quick so little dividing each point each victory and every point in this bronze medal match vital well this is how you imagine that every medal match is going to be isn't it um, just so competitive and one point either way one point in it at the moment Something not connected there with Sun's jacket. Just double checking that connection. Well, there's so much action. That's why they sometimes come out. Well, I think he's Ask for a change of weapon and well, the athletes have all their weapons checked before competing, but then things can change, especially on the tip of the foil. So that'll need to be rechecked and tested and then also tested against the opponent's jacket to check that all the electrics are working as per the rules. Well, very close throughout this so far. The first to 15, but neither athlete able to open up a lead of any significance. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen two points difference in this match. I just have to see if the referee maintains that point, because the Connection had been lost on Sun's jacket, it seems. Well, Sun, the world number one, has the first time a lead of two points. The best either of these fences can hope for is the bronze medal. They made it through to the semi finals and then. They've lost their semi-final match, and this is the fence-off, so to speak. 
All the bronze. Pinder, five points. To Sun, seven. Sun just really wanting to make sure he's really happy with his foil. Every blade so individual to the athletes. Now, well, I think I asked you about that, didn't I? I said, um, uh, do you have a feel with a, a weapon and a favourite? Yeah. All equipment so individual and the foil no different. Maybe a problem with the tip because he's shaking it and wiping off, just tightening the socket that the body, body wire plugs into. Seeing if that helps and it yep it looks as though we're all good to go and just a slightly faulty connection with the insertion of the body wire plug into the socket just behind the guard there's one back Penza may be using the interruption in the flow of this match to regain a bit of momentum just trading by one well, this really is competitive, isn't it? All the way. Pender, been in this situation twice before. Bronze medalist in this very event. From Athens Paralympics in 2004 and Beijing in 2008. On either side of that, he's gold medalist in the EPE from Sydney in 2000 and London in 2012. So, of the four Paralympic Games that Darius Pender has competed in, he's picked up a medal in every single one. Can he maintain that record? Well, just small problems with the with the weapons, and now everything seems to be okay, ready to go again. Tested, and we are back on course. And a quick point there, straight away from Sun. Take him eight six ahead. Pendo not letting that gap increase by any more than two points. Target in that situation. But now bringing it back to a level score. Not for long. Yeah. Sun regains the lead. So quick there, wasn't he? Absolutely. And jumped the a gun. A little there. bit too quick on yeah. that occasion. Jump the gun, gets the yellow card for it. has been the one that started to take a little initiative in this match. We've seen him take the lead, even if only by one or two points on the majority of the occasions. And Penda seems to be the one that tries to catch up. If Sun maintains this, he could well be the first to 15. Coach accepting the explanation from the referee. And again, Sun with the two point advantage, the maximum difference we've seen between the score. And it is just tit for tat in this fight. Yeah, Sun it really is. Extending it back to the two point lead. Oh. And now, just a mini pause whilst the cheers. And their platforms are re-centred on the beast. And Sun decides to help them on their way.
Back in the middle of the score. 11 9, the first to 15. We'll pick up the bronze medal in this category A men's foil event. Sun requesting a video replay. And Pender's coach, not quite sure why, hoping obviously for his athlete that the replay is not awarding a point to from China. Well, you were saying that they're only allowed four different uh, looks at that film. Yeah, I'm allowed to watch it four times. They can choose the referee and the video an analyzer. They can choose to watch it in real time or slow motion. The referee quickly made his decision. No hit allowed. So still remains one point difference. Sun. The referee just checking the score is correct. Looking to the board. So close in this match and it's been so close the whole way through. The maximum difference we've seen. Well, just shows how even it is between the two of them. And now we get towards the real tense part of this match as they edge ever closer to the 15 points. Real stretch from Pender himself a little open too quick off the mark by the Polish fencer just having a warning from the referee and that's a yellow card apiece and you can feel the urgency building in this match and still within reach just one point behind now Bradley Spender behind Sun Gang so evenly matched yeah, he's and going very for evenly matched now. I was going to say, he's going for it, isn't he? Pender now pulls it up to 12-12. Referee wants to have a look at it, though, just to make sure, because each point is so important to the outcome of this match. Well, if it is 12 all, it'll be the next three points that decide winner of this match decide the bronze medalist here at the 2016 Paralympic Games. Some discussions between the referee and the video analyzer. Video analyzer, a very experienced referee, but also qualified on specific video training. So very skilled team to decide such important issues and such tense moments. And the hit has been awarded to China. The coach of Penta furious with that result, but the referee's decision is final and he had used the video analysis to double check. And now he's going to stick by his, by his score. Yeah, he wasn't happy with that, was he? Thomas coach. Well, the points taken away for Pender, given to Sun, and suddenly it is looking in the favour of Sun. And now Sun Gang just one hit, one point away from the victory. Pender needs four hits in a row if he's going to win another Paralympic medal. And the referee gives the point. The bronze medal goes to Sun Gang of the People's Republic of China as he salutes the crowd. He just pulled away at the end. It had been so close right the way through, but there's confirmation. 15 points to 11, Sun over Pender.